Operation Braille Bridge is an opportunity to look at blind spots that we have in our city and says, how can we take this public space that is also part of this historical infrastructure that moved the city ahead and really drove its progress for such a long time. How can we take that and turn it into an opportunity to enhance our experience of mobility through the city? What I'm excited about in this project is that it's an opportunity to take the research that I've been doing in lighting and the, some of the design application that I've been able to do in the past and apply it really directly. Uh, in a really impactful way. I discovered that um, when you visualize sound, it gets people really excited about it. Sound's one of those things that's kind of hard to understand because you can't see it. And so uh, my, my role in this project was in part to help develop the concept behind it. Uh, we're gonna be activating these rail bridges and in doing so, we want to convey something important about them. The idea is to translate some of the acoustic energy that's imparted into them from the trains into something visual, something beautiful that will, that will engage people. The reason why cities are successful isn't just because there's a lot of people together and there's a lot of industry. That's more of a symptom than the reason. When you have a lot of people together in a dense area, you have a lot of intellectual capital and you get spontaneity and you you get people interacting and you get different things sprouting up from that. In a city, especially in Schenectady, there's these, um, there's limitations on how people can use the space because they seem scary or because there isn't a culture of walking. When people look for platforms to like get together with people and to mix and mingle and then you got these bridges that are disconnected. One one space from the other it takes a real bold person to move back and forth between what are what are essentially portals. I think it's important to engage the community in public projects because uh, that's who these projects are going to directly affect. If somebody feels like they they were involved in some way, even if it is a big discussion about what what does public space mean to you, for example. Um, it's a, it's a small intervention, but I think it's one that could kind of build a sense of um, ownership and pride and, and just kind of feeling good about one's neighborhood. One of the challenges of this project that I find interesting is the requirement to pull together so many, um, in some instances disparate, in other instances just different interests. Um, it's, a, it's going to require collaboration on a very deep level with uh, multiple institutions and stakeholders. Uh, to create a common good, and I think that that's a, a pattern and a template that's not easy to implement, but it's one that's important for us to continue to explore within the context of our communities. After the automobile was introduced into our cities, it obviously had a massive impact in a negative way on the way that civic space was used. I think moving towards the post-industrial condition of our city, it's this opportunity to say like, how can we revisit um, civic space and how can we make our cities walkable and connect them in a way that's more conducive to a creative approach to design and urban movement? When we think Schenectady and we think what can be done in Schenectady, I have the perspective of having been here for the Proctors, miracle of this block, and no one at the time, not, not a single person, even the most positive-minded person, could ever have imagined just how successful the block is right now today. And I think that's, there's no better example of what we can achieve down here in Schenectady. There's a lot of support, there's a lot of love, people are very proud of their community, and all it takes is one brave first step, and it will happen. And to connect now the miracle of the 400 block, the energy of the stockade, it's all about connectivity now, because there are multiple miracles happening. So we just need to connect, stand on those, the shoulders of giants that we all, always hear about and make connections between those giants. And we're gonna do it.